Welcome to today's morning lab, which thanks to youtube.com can be done any time of day. Today we'll answer the question, are you a marine mammal? Let's get started. Now, you may be wondering, what is the mammalian diving reflex? The mammalian diving reflex is an adaptation of marine mammals for diving in cold water. They experience bradycardia, which, if you break down the little bird, literally means slow heart condition or state. Essentially, when marine mammals dive down, their heart rate slows, and this reduced cardiac output shunts blood away from their extremities and prioritizes getting oxygen to vital organs while they are diving. So as we investigate whether you are a marine mammal, we're going to particularly look at whether you will exhibit the mammalian diving reflex. Now, to see if your heart rate slows down, as in the mammalian diving reflex, you need to have a baseline of what your heart rate is normally for your resting heart rate. To do this, you have two choices. You can take your pulse at your wrist, your radial artery, or like Emily, you can take your pulse at your neck, which is your carotid artery. So what you're gonna do is take your pulse for 15 seconds and count how many times you feel your pulse. Ready? Go. One. Go. Stop. I pulse 15 times in 15 seconds. So you're going to take that number and multiply by four. Who knows their 15 times tables? My resting heart rate was 60 beats per minute. Emily, what was yours? 20. 20. 20 times 4. Good math, folks. So now you should have your baseline resting heart rate. To replicate the cold water of diving, we're gonna submerse our faces in Seal Harbor Beach Ocean. If you don't have access to the ocean, that is A-OK. -okay. Just fill a nice bucket of coldest water you can find. And remember, always have a buddy with you whenever submersing your face. It's time to go into the water. It's gonna be a cold wake up to this morning. Boy, am I ready, Caroline. So we're gonna walk in, we're gonna stick our heads in the water for as long as we can, up to about 20 seconds when you need to breathe. Just pick your head back up and you're immediately gonna take your pulse again for 15 seconds. Perfect. Should we go? Let's go, great. Once you're done, multiply that number by four, and you will get your heart rate after submersing in the cold water. And we'll see what we get. Caroline came up with 56 beats per minute, and according to my notes, Emily got 64. And you may want to try several repetitions of that. We're just going to do one for right now. Uh, and then look at your data. What, what do you see? What do you think happened? Looks like the, resting, the heart rate dropped uh, for both of us, actually. 
um, which is what you might expect. Does that make me a marine mammal? No, probably not. But the fact that we did see evidence of bradycardia and the mammalian diving reflex suggests Why does that happen? Hmm, that's a good question. What part of diving did we replicate here? Did we feel the pressure of going under lots and lots of water? Nah, probably not. So it was something about submersing our face. Caroline and I are wondering, what is it really that causes the mammalian diving reflex? Is it the fact that there's water on your face, or does it have something to do with the temperature of the water? Is there any way that you could figure it out? Try to design an experiment at home that would let you figure out whether the mammalian diving reflex is activated by water or temperature. And we'd love to hear from you. If you do try this out, let us know. Uh, did you see the mammalian diving reflex? What happened to your heart rate? You can send us a fax or tag us on a post on Instagram or Facebook. Go. Thanks for starting your day by submersing your face in cold water with us. We hope you loved it. We know we did. Go. Go. <laughs> Was that go? Or oh, we got it too again. <laughs>